Let's sing and go, baby. What is good, Grey Gang? We're here today. Me and Cody, we are going to try to kill him a doe by the end of the year. Now, season is less than a week, so we actually came up on this big mountain, and we set out two cameras, two corn piles. We're going to figure out which one the deer uses most, and then we're going to put the last bag of corn on it. We plan on coming back in a couple days. First corn pile was right here. There's a few little pieces left, but we do have a camera right here. We'll check it. What do you think? Good or bad? I'd say good. I would, too. I mean, we got to have something that ate the corn. Is it Maybe. dead? This was the one that was going dead. Nice. All right. Well, this one's dead. We're going to take it with us, and then we may switch out the batteries with the other camera to actually see what's here. I mean, we did have something eat the corn completely, and then we also know for a fact that there's some pretty good deer area right back there because we went back there and found a bunch of tracks, and they're uh, poopy. And there were does over there the last time we came. But yeah, this other spot is also a pretty good spot, so we're going to go check oh, it too. If we did hunt this spot, the area we'd be actually sitting in is in that little building. It's got some little shoot holes in, made into it. It's used mostly for turkeys, but I mean, I think we can kill a deer out of it i don't see why not moving on to the second corn pile they've also destroyed this one each of them's been up about about five days so they've had plenty of time to find the corn and eat all of it this one's actually really good because they actually tore the dirt up around this looking for it so much there is turkeys in this area too and if we see a turkey we're gonna shoot it but here's a trail camera we'll pull it off the tree we'll take it back and we'll use the batteries from this one to check the other one the other one did have low batteries but it should have took a few pictures at least before you know it died the biggest thing we're wanting to learn from these cameras Cameras, is what time do they prefer to come in because preferably we'd rather try to hunt some deer that come in the morning rather than at the middle of the night moment of truth does this one have enough batteries to tell us oh yeah this one's good to go it's battery's pretty low too but we'll go ahead and replay what we got we got 784 pictures i'm pretty sure there's a lot of deer here oh here we go here we go there's a deer during the day but it says it's at two o'clock p.m but i don't know if that's true or not there's two of them now there's two does during that's the day that's a big doe yeah and where's yeah. it standing at Right there over the corn pile. Right the so that's corn. perfect. This is looking pretty good. At least for a doe, at least. All right, guys. So we took out the memory card of this one. We're going to take out... We're going to put the memory card from the other one in here. That way we can find out if any deer came to the other spot and if what time. There's literally one picture. All right. Well, that's awesome. We're just having to make a bet Dang. on that last location because that camera didn't take any pictures. What do you think? I would really go to the other one, personally. You would? Just because of the location. Yeah. Especially if it's snowing. Because the location here show them we got that tree stand, which is good and everything. We but... gotta fix it though. Yeah, At but that. it's kind of we'd have to do a few adjustments to it, and it's gonna be cold. The other one's in like a actual building. You wanna just go put the corn at that other location and hope for the best? We can, yeah. Okay, let's do that. At least we'll kill a turkey. I mean, we we'll should. We'll kill something. Corn's right there. He's gonna be over there with the bow. You can't even see him, so we know that's a good spot. He's actually ranging us right now. We can't even see him. How far am I? And that's about how far the corn is. 14 yards oh that should be easy yeah guys we're gonna put out the corn we will catch you guys back in a couple days whenever the hunt begins all right guys we're about 15 yards where the target where the deer is supposed to be we got him sitting down can he make the shot if he can make this then we can probably kill anything oh yeah i think we're pretty good first one's a little off yeah 15 yards sitting down should be able to kill a deer for sure we'll catch y'all whenever we go hunting <laughs> How confident are we feeling? Pretty confident. If we see one, I think it's coming down. All right, guys, we're heading out. We'll catch y'all whenever we get there. It's dark, but that's okay. You just have to deal with it. Y'all still can't see us, but there's a guy right there. We got these shoe holes. This one's my shoe hole for the camera. He's got one over there to actually shoot out of. The corn pile. Right over there. We just got to see here and wait. She's gone. She did. Yeah, I think the biggest thing we can do next time, just take everything a lot slower yeah. and quieter somehow. That deer came in, then she heard, I think we made a little bit too much noise. She looked over here, she started looking. She might have saw some movement. Then she just headed out, guys. We walked by the corn pile, but that's the only way we can get in here. She might have smelled us, but the important thing is that she didn't bust us, so she could come back, and other ones still could come in. Give it some time. Bruh. What is he doing? He's just doing he's just doing circles. Wait, no, bruh. No. Where's my cat? 
Okay, guys, we officially have tru two trucks upon us. All right, so basically what happened is we was hunting and trucks came up. It's really that simple. It's not really that complicated. But what the plan is, is that since there are roads here, kind of, we're going to hope that the deer are okay with this. And maybe they'll just forget about it in about 30 minutes or something. Also, one of these trucks may drive around and drive some to us unintentionally. So, yeah, we're just going to hang in here a little bit longer. But if we don't see anything, that's probably going to be our excuse because it's a pretty good one. But, yeah. As for now, we're just going to hang in there. We've seen one deer so far. That's more than uh, me and Abrams ever seen. And me and Abrams been hunting like six times. So, yeah, so far so good. I guess we're done. Ooh, we're done for the morning. We're going to probably come back. We're definitely coming back this evening because we're leaving our stuff in there. That doe came out pretty normal. Yeah, she got to like right there. And then, then I think we moved and she heard us. And then she just heard us. That's the biggest problem. The problem is that his seat height is not good to where he can actually shoot. The hole in the blind is like, it's made for a shotgun. So, we're going to have to figure something out. We're going to have to get a new, get some kind of new seat. If we'd had a crossbow that deer would have been dead but we're gonna try to do it with an actual bow since the shot's most likely only gonna be 15 yards but yeah guys we're heading out now we'll be back later okay guys we're heading back into the stand we're taking probably the most unconventional things you'd ever take into a deer stand into a deer stand we got a cinder block definitely not the first cinder block this German jacket's scary and then we got a carpet once we get inside we'll show you what these are for step one lay out the carpet on the ground this is pretty obvious but it's to make sure he's a little bit quieter because there's a lot of rubbish in here and well that little bit will help so much so that's what the carpet's for the cinder block this is his new chair because his other chair was way too high this right here is his shooting lane so he's gonna have to like literally shoot off his knees but it's pretty perfect right over there is where the deer should be standing luckily we positioned the corn pile in a pretty awesome spot today's the day guys today is the day i mean it's still the same day as this morning got in here extra early so it's gonna be a pretty good sit the problem as you guys can imagine since we're looking out of such little holes there's not a lot that we can actually see i can really only see this much and a little bit of the road but about 90 percent of the time we're estimating they're going to come from this patch of woods anyhow so yeah guys that's the plan we literally just gotta sit here be quiet there's still corn out there so that's a good sign they have reason to come back but i'll let y'all know whenever something happens Here's what just went down. We had four deer and four good does come in. They circled about 35 yards. We wanted to wait, but then they ended up circling around downwind of us. We're working really tight wind angles today. And unfortunately, they just they came on around before they made it to the corn bow. And it got dark on us, but we're going to come back in the morning. The wind's supposed to be a little bit better. See y'all in the morning if I wake up. <laughs> Fifty minutes later. All right, guys. Now we're gonna come out here. We're actually gonna start looking. It's actually snowing a lot, which may make it harder to actually find the blood. If we hit her right, shouldn't matter. She ain't going far. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I know one of the trails she takes. She either took it this way or that way. I'm going to run them both, look for blood, look for the arrow, look for the deer. Since that bow isn't like one of the most powerful ones in the world or anything, there's a decent chance that it didn't complete pass through or come through out the other side. So if we don't see blood, that's not a big scary thing. Just keep looking. Should be laying out here somewhere. All right, guys. First sign of an actual hit. We got blood. 
Oh, dude, you actually got a lot of blood. She's bleeding really she good. She's definitely fierce. dead. Yeah. And then we got this right here now. Pretty bright colored. So that's fresh blood. We don't really see a ton of bubbles yet. But that right there may be bubbles or it could just be snow. But keep in mind, his, his bow's not super powerful. It's probably not going to be a complete pass through. So it's probably not going to be squirting all over the trees. We're just going to track this blood until hopefully there's a deer laying there. Let's see it go, baby. We tracked her. She went way over there. Then she cut back, tricking us. She got down here in some rough country, man. This is stuff that people don't like to walk in. It's thick stuff. She came down in this ditch, hit this pretty hard blood splattered. I was like, yeah, she's squirting pretty good right here. She's got to be dead. I looked here, tracked her down there. Boom, she smacked the rock. Tracked her down there. Boom, there's a stinking deer. Let's stink and go, guys. We still ain't found his arrow, and we've tracked her the whole way, so it's most likely in there, or we lost it one. I believe this tracking would have been a whole lot harder if she hadn't came down in this rough country and got absolutely demolished by this rock. Oh, I don't blame her. I did too. I bet she, she hit them leaves and it sunk three foot and it smacked her again. And after that, she's basically dead anyhow. But listen, guys, I just want to say this. We do not have lung bubbly blood massacre everywhere. But what we did is we tracked a little bit of blood we had and then we tracked her footprints because like there's a lot of leaves and you can see where she was pit hard jumping around. And that's how we found her, guys. We just didn't give up. Dang, you throw shot at it. That's how I killed my spike this year. Where how she was walking? Yeah, you hit a little bit high and in left. Front of her. And she wasn't, she had just stopped, so I just hit her in the neck. We didn't exactly hit her where we was wanting. We've got up at 450 the last three or four days come out here every day every evening and that's just how much that's just how long it took but anyways guys if you want to pick up some kg gear that's what i've literally been using the whole time if you guys hunt very much in cold weather go ahead and invest in a kg bomber hat super furry they keep me warm pick up a kg backpack pick up some hunting merch kindlegrade1.com slash shop first link in the description thanks for watching this video subscribe if you're not already because we got a lot more stuff just like this coming for a really long time we'll see y'all later hopefully Thank <laughs> you.